Now, South African jazz legend Hugh Masekela, who passed away at the age of 78, has been laid to rest in a private ceremony. Now, the funeral service was held at the Johannesburg Botanical Garden in Emmerentia. However, fans were given the opportunity to pay tribute to the anti-apartheid activist at the Hugh Masekela Heritage Park. Now, during a visit to the park, Channel's television South African bureau chief, Betty Dibye, met with Francis Foster, a long-term percussionist for Masekela, and Selema Masekela, the son of the jazz legend. Now, she spoke to them about the fond memories of this man who waited the trumpet like no other. Working with you has been one of the greatest things of my life. Um, met him in 1973 at an airport. Uh, uh, through a friend, Francis. Hey, Francis, come and meet Hugh. I said, who? At that time, he had just, uh, he had a big hit, Grazing in the Grass, which was the number one song in America for several weeks and hit the rest of the world. So I knew of the man already. So when this my friend says, meet you, Master Keller, I thought, you mean the guy with grazing in the grass? And she said, yes. So, I mean, I was elated. I was, it was, a, it was a privilege. So I walked up to him and we spoke. And that same day, we wrote a song together. And that song, we didn't write it together. I was writing it, but he didn't have a guitar. And I carried a guitar. So we played it together. And uh, a few years later, we recorded that song for a friend, another friend of mine. And it became another hit. So what song was this? Uh, it was called Witch Doctor. Um, Sango Oma. Yeah. And it became a beautiful song. And yeah, he was, he was, he's been, I've, I've, met, I've gone through my life with you. Um, he took me everywhere he went. And several years later, I stopped playing with him. I went to teach school. I studied history, so I, I tried to teach school. Uh, a couple of years later, I ran into him again, and he said, what, are you a teacher? I said, yeah. He said, but do you want to play? So I said, is the Pope Catholic? And I was back on the road in 1984, and I've been playing with him since. He was always afraid that Africa is losing herself to all kind of foreign cultures. Um, Africans, he was worried that Africans are beginning to not grasp the power of their culture and what it stands for. And he preached that relentlessly until his death, you know. So that's very, very important um, to us, the rest of us that are here. And we'll be, we'll, we'll be keeping up his legacy. And totally, and the band is going to work together. We're going, to, we're going to really go through the music. We're going to write some more stuff. We're going to dedicate stuff to him. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the man was a was, was a master of his craft, and I think he was a legend. And he was a legend when he was alive. Although he would, he would be the first one to tell you, "Don't call me a legend." Selima Masikela is a 40-year-old son of the jazz legend. Now, as a teenager, he toured with his father and his musical friends, including Miriam Makiba, Paul Simons, and others, for the famed Graceland tour. Now, during this period, he discovered the African activist in his father and understood why he was unapologetically African. Europe, Asia, South America, North America, all these different continents and places where we celebrate the marvel and marvel at their culture and their art and their history and the globe does so um, and what my father was trying to say was like yo Africa is we're right we're we are in the conversation and then some 
And the idea that everyone runs primarily to Western ideas or, or, or Western parts of history and arts and culture uh, first and it ignores the, the beauty and the magic and the power of the continent of Africa when it comes to its peoples and its culture and its art and its history and its dance and its plumage, as he liked to say. Um, he wanted people to, to make sure that they knew that he was not just South African, that he was an African and he loved the entire continent for those reasons, for those, those many different flavors that um, made all these different parts unique.